Welcome to Doncaster Circuit Morning Devotions. Uh, welcome in the name of Christ. Today we are thinking about light. And the ones that I'm going to guide us are from the book of Matthew, chapter 5. We are reading from verses 14 to 16. You are like light for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, it is put on a lampstand, where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before people, so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. Thank you. Uh, Jesus used many imageries about himself. Sometimes Jesus will tell us, I am the good shepherd. Other times, Jesus will tell us, I am the gate for the sheep. Or he will also say, I am the true vine. Uh, today, I want us to think about uh, this other symbol, this other imagery that he applied upon himself. I am the light. Actually, you would say, I am the light for the whole world. I'm the great torch, the great light for the whole world. When I'm traveling uh, from UK to Kenya, uh, usually we travel at night uh, because we arrive in the morning. And if we arrive in the morning, you can do one or two things. And if you are familiar with the route, when you cross the Mediterranean Sea, when you cross the Mediterranean Sea, you can tell when you get to Cairo because of the lights. You can also tell when you traverse the Sahara and get to Khartoum and in Juba in the Sudan. And when you travel a little further, you can see and the Sababa uh, on the right, and also you can see Kampala, Kampala in Uganda, and that is before you begin the Danua descent into the towns of uh, Kenya and ultimately to Nairobi. Jesus used this imagery about the light. Traditionally, I think we will know we know that light has also been used, uh, especially by ships when they are traveling. Uh, when they are approaching the shore, you see the lighthouse. And without light, we are told that nothing can exist. The scientists tell us that nothing can really exist without light because. Crops need the uh, light to grow. Uh, our own bodies need light uh, for vitamins, certain vitamins. Vitamin, I think it's D, which needs light. You only have got to think about uh, uh, the summer. How much we, we really welcome the summer. Why? Because Nobody really likes the darkness of uh, winter. Jesus uses see, these two imageries. He says, I am the light of the world. I'm the great light. But then he turns, he turns that imagery again. He flips it. The other side and he says, you are the light of the world. So, whereas Jesus is the light of the world, then also I am become, or and you, you become the light of the world. What it means for us, for that, for us the Christians, is that we we have no light of our own. We acquire light from that great source, from Jesus. We only reflect the light of God. We reflect the light of God in the way we love other people, 
and care for others. We reflect the light of Christ in the way we accept others. I mean, this, these days, there's been a lot of tension, sometimes racial tension. Black Lives Matter is all about racial tension. Uh, you know, people thinking that just because of certain color of the skin, you are different. We are one and the same people, God created us. And therefore, yes, when we love, when we reflect the light of Christ, then uh, we accept others. When communities are faced with a certain trouble, earthquake or famine, we go out of the way. Those are the light ways in which we can reflect the light of Christ. When you help your neighbor, uh, they see the light of Christ. You know, uh, they say that actions speak louder than words. Let us go out of the way to reflect the light of Christ. See, a reflector, a car reflector, for example, has no light of its own. But uh, when you put, on, put it on the road and another car comes, it reflects and uh, it warns the other car that something is happening uh, on the road. Think about the moon. Santis tell us that the moon has no light of its own. It reflects the, the light from the sun. I want to urge us this morning or whatever the time that let us reflect the light of Christ. Let me end by saying that lights, all lights are not the same. Uh, there are all sorts of lights in the world. I can think of three categories of lights. Warning lights, for example. Uh, when you are driving and you see in your dashboard some red light, uh, it means that there is something wrong with the engine. When you are driving and uh, you see some blue light, uh, it could well mean that the police is telling you to stop, you know, pull on the sign. And uh, if you hear the ambulance coming, it means give way. Those are warning lights. But there are also guiding lights. For example, uh, on the runway, the plane needs those uh, stands so that it can run on the proper, it can keep to the proper lanes on the runway. And I want to say the last uh, type of light that I can think about is celebratory lights, Christmas lights, uh, all over. Those are not warning lights, they are not guiding lights. It's time to party, it tells us it's, it's Christmas, it's celebration time. Similarly, I think Jesus is light in us. Sometimes he warns us of an impending danger or something that I should not do. Sometimes Jesus is light in me who will guide me uh, to make certain decisions. But also Jesus is light in me who will make me celebrate the faith that I have in Christ. May God bless us, may God help us as we reflect the light of Christ in our daily lives. Let me end with a little prayer that I have from this book called uh, Prayer Collection. Holy Spirit, give your light so that I may walk aright. In your wisdom, love, and might, guide my steps this day. Make me 
make me kind to all around. In my life, let love abound. All your gracious fruits be found in your child this day. Holy Spirit, you are one with the Father and the Son. May the will divine be done now and every day. Amen. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord be gracious to you, the Lord lift his countenance on you and give you grace and peace. Amen.